10 basic tips for estate agents using social media. Social media is an essential part of marketing a property and promoting your personal brand and your business brand. Now it's a massive subject and it can be overwhelming. So today I will just be explaining about some of the basics. There are so many different social media platforms, it's hard to know where to start or which one is best. Just remember different social media platforms are like different newspapers. Now each national newspaper will have a different readership profile. So the Guardian or Financial Times reader will be different to the Sun or the Daily Mail reader. So if you want to reach different audiences, use different social media platforms. However, I would recommend starting with just one or two. Now, some people love Twitter and uh, some, other, some never look at it. Um, some, of, some people use Snapchat and Instagram and not look at Facebook. And some may just use LinkedIn. My advice is Facebook is essential and LinkedIn is close behind as it's another important and easy to use platform. So let's start with Facebook. First of all, set up your own personal business page on Facebook to promote yourself and your personal brand. Social media marketing is not just sticking a property on Facebook and hoping someone sees it. Firstly, you must create an advert. And secondly, you must create an audience. So creating an advert on Facebook. Make sure you have an attention grabbing headline or a thumbnail that's going to stop people from scrolling. Use emojis and always have a call to action like uh, learn more, book viewing, click here for instant on, um, online valuation. Now creating an audience on Facebook. Facebook can target a specific audience for your advert. So if you're promoting a property and um, you want to target the ideal buyer, if you're selling a bungalow, you can target homeowners aged between 55 and 65. And if you're selling an investment property, you can target landlords and investors. Or if you're selling a family home, you can target families with kids, etc. You can target buyers based on age, area, income, interests and behaviours and a whole host of other criteria. You can also create an audience by uploading a database of names and email addresses that you would like to target. This could be a database of past clients, a database of old market appraisals you've carried out or a database of buyers who have a property uh, to sell locally. You should also have a database of all the sellers who currently have their property on the market with another agent locally. Now you can target these sellers with an advert about why they should use you to sell their property. Now the advert could be a recent success story, a testimonial, a market update or a video about a current buyer's requirements. Use video and upload directly to the social media platform. A video will get far more engagement than just text or a photo. So I'd encourage you to do as many videos as possible. When you create a video, always upload it directly to the social media platform you are using. So for example, do not post a Facebook uh, on Facebook with a link to a video uh, on YouTube. First of all, YouTube and Facebook are different companies and in competition with each other. So Facebook will not promote a link to take traffic away from their Facebook page to a competitor. It will also mean people have to click on a link, which takes ages to load, whereas if you upload the video directly to Facebook, it will often autoplay. Hashtags, uh, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. When adding a video to YouTube, always add the wording under the description heading um, about the property, information about you and your company, and also use hashtags. Google owns YouTube, so this will help the video show up in searches when people are searching on Google. You can also add hashtags uh, on Instagram, LinkedIn and Facebook. Check in. When adding a property post on Facebook, always remember to check in. This could be the town, the village, suburb or area 
and I will mean other people in the area will see your post. Add an event on Facebook. If you're holding an open house or a launch event for a property, create an event on Facebook and invite people to the event. Facebook will notify other local users of this nearby event. And if you want more engagement, add, add uh, posts, photos, and do Facebook Live leading up to the event, during the event, and after the event. Add a link to your property on your website. When posting a video or event, always add a link to the property page on your web website so people can find out more information and will have a next step. Remember to always have links going to your company website, not Rightmove. You must always want to drive traffic to your own, own website for a number of reasons. One, it helps with search engine optimization, SEO. Um, also, your website will probably have live chat, so you can ask visitors about booking a viewing or valuation. Sellers can also arrange an instant online valuation or book a face-to-face -face market appraisal. And you can also retarget visitors to your website with other adverts. Now invite people to like your page. So when someone likes your post, remember to invite them to like your page. Add subtitles. Many people will watch a video with the sound off, so adding subtitles will help keep them watching. Now I hope this helps get you started on social media and in the future we can go into more detail on how to use social media to promote your listings, your business and your personal brand.